this is one of the reasons why I like um, a zoom lens like this is because you can just get the sun, just big bright ball, like this huge sun, right? That you can't get on like a wide angle lens. Um, and zooming in one to one, like these birds, these small little birds out here are still really good. And if we go to two to one, like, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not like super sharp, but like, that's still impressive. Like these birds are so far away, way across the other lake. Um, and it's just amazing. And even like the sun, like you can tell, like the little, like, it's not a perfect cylinder, right? You can see like the little indents of the sun. Um, it's just, uh, I don't know. This lens is just super crazy. I, I really, really like this lens. So let's see, let's go to the next one. This, this one right here, right? So if we go, so like right now it looks pretty good. Just a normal, um, normal size. And then we'll just zoom into one-to-one. -one. And here we can see like, it's, uh, to me, it looks super sharp. The eyes are really good. It looks like, yeah, I got nailed the focus on the eyes, right? So now we'll go to two to one. And here, I mean, it, it's starting to look a little fuzzy when you go that far, zoom that far, but it's still really good sharpness. So let's go to another one. So this one, this one, the bird's actually flying right past me, right? So I'm, I, I try to get the, um, the camera up as fast as I can lock on to the, the bird and we'll see. So like right now it looks like it looks good. Um, but if we go to one on one, I think we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't look like, I don't think I got the focus nailed on its eye. I don't actually, I can't tell where the focus is. I think maybe it focused right here on the wing that looks more sharp, uh, more sharpness. So if we go into two to one, you know, now we can definitely tell that the face here, uh, it, it didn't hit focus on that. So yeah, I think it definitely got the focus on, on the wing, but when you zoom out, like you can't really tell that. Like here, it still looks great. Uh, let's go to another one. So this one, again, we'll zoom into one and one, and here it got the face great. Like that looks really good. So we'll go to two to one, and I just, yeah, this just looks really good. As far as the focus hit the face. Yeah, let's go to this one. Let's see, zoom back out. Here, we'll go to one to one on this. Again, like this is super sharp. So it's a really good lens. Um, and I, I like this one because you can see the, uh, he's got one of his, his feet, uh, one of his foot is like up in his chest, I guess. And you can like, it's just so gross. <laughs> you can just zoom in and see his, his little, finger toenails or whatever it's so gross um all right so let's go to now okay now this photo this is really cool so i tried to play around with so i do i do like macro photography and you know this is hard when you do see something like kind of close you do have to step back kind of far away and zoom in to get it so it's it, it's not great for like things that are close to you um but when you when you do like kind of get that distance right I mean, this is a spider, right, in a bush. So we'll go to one to one, and now here, because it's, the spider's so small, like I can't tell in the on the camera when I'm taking this photo. But we can see here the focus got its leg, right? If the focus had got it, it's like face it would have been this would have been a perfect photo but the focus ended up getting its leg. But even still, like if you look at the focus on a leg, like that's really good. So we'll go to two to one. I mean, this is amazing. Like if this focus hit right here, it, this would have been a perfect shot. But if you zoom out back to the, like the original, like you can't tell, you can't tell that it didn't hit the face versus that lake. Like this whole thing right here, this is just a great shot. Um, and let me show you the before and after. I did do some editing on this photo. So like, and here's the before and after. So even the before you can see like, it's really green. I had to tone down that green, basically bring out the, um, the spider pop out the spider a little bit more, but that's pretty much the before and after. Okay. So, so here's another spider example and this one, you know, one to one. Now this one actually, uh, focus on the face. So we'll go here and we can see like the focus did, did hit the face. So, you know, when the focus hits, especially something this small, like that's really good. It's really good. Uh, it's a really cool photo. I'm pretty happy with this lens. Um, here's another, 
another example of a bird, right? Let's let's go in all the way to two to one. Oh yeah, this is funny. Like seeing the the bird's web feet. I don't know. I've never never really like looked at these birds' feet. It's just so weird. Um, yeah. So like, I mean, that's just amazing how close you can get. And one to one, one to one looks great. And then of course, you know, the original looks fine. Here's another one. This one looks really good. Yeah. So we'll go to one to one again on here. So here's this web feet. Hold on, it's loading. That's why. Okay. So obviously the focus didn't go on the feet, but the focus did go on its face. And so here we see like that is super sharp and clean. Uh, and then we go to two to one. Yeah, that's just amazing. Right. So let's see. Okay, this one I love this. So there was an offspray just right above me, uh, eating this fish. Right. So this is cool because the offspray is just looking dead at me, taking this photo. So one to one looks good. The two to one, two to one always looks a little blurry. Um, it's just you're just zoomed in way too much. So the one to one always looks pretty good. Yeah, this fish is disgusting. Check this out. That's just gross yeah and but what was cool about this photo is that um some birds were flying uh like right over it when i was taking some photos so the next photo so this is cool because i just like the fact that there's birds flying while i was taking this photo but uh the focus did not it it did not um focus on the offspray it was like focusing on this branch or like over here or something actually i can't even find where it focused but this one's not this one's not really that great um, other than the fact that there's birds over here on the side, but this one is, you know, really one of the best photo of the offspray. So if we zoom into one to one. I mean, this is just super sharp. And we'll go. We can even go into two to one. And even the two to one looks pretty good. Like this is amazing. Like you can see just a little <laughs> pieces of fish in its beak. Wow, that that is just super crazy. Um, let's see the next one. So this is I don't know what kind of bird this is. Um, so here's two to one, and it's not. It doesn't look as sharp. I mean, it's always the one to one always looks the best. But yeah, this even this is still a good photo, and this one looks super sharp. Yeah. Well, let's go to this one. Okay, this one I just wanted, I was just taking photos of the flowers just to see um, what it looked like. It's just, so over here, yeah, it focused on this, on the top flower. So you can kind of see like, yeah, these these flowers are not that um, far apart, but you can, you can still get some good depth of field. So this is at F6.3 um, and you're still, you know, this one is somewhat blurry. This one isn't. So, you know, you can still kind of get some really good uh, depth of field there. And so let's go to this one. So here's some kind of hawk. We'll go to one to one. This one, yeah. Like it, I, I don't think it focused on its face, but it's still, everything looks pretty sharp right now. Go to two to one. And I, yeah, I still don't think it focused on its face, but it's still it's still really usable let's see so the next one this one's just i just wanted to try to get a variety of different things maybe um so this is just two to one going down to the mushrooms i mean i mean look at that you can see like the little sh strands on these things that's amazing here's another one of those birds this one's a lot better Hold on, it's rendering. Okay, so this one, it's a little bit blurry. Okay, yeah, it looks like it focused right here. So his head's probably not in the same focus plane. But it's still still a great photo. This one is a, a little blue herring. I believe people go nuts with this thing. Whenever I see people and they, they see this thing, like it's like they, they're like, oh, wow, look at that. It's funny. Um, let's see. So zoom in, and I believe it focused. It doesn't look like it focused on the face. 
So I'm using a Sony a7 III, and even though it does have the animal eye detect, for some reason I noticed it doesn't doesn't really work all the time. I think it probably works better on the um, on the other models of the Sony, but for the Sony a7 III, um, I, I always have a problem with it. So I just kind of turn it off. But it looks like uh, the feet are more in focus than the face on this one. But still, I mean, definitely better than a 70 to 300. Like, I would not be able to get this close with a 70 to 300. So, again, another reason, like, I'm just, uh, I am really happy that I got the 200 to 600, even though I don't use it quite that much. If you're into flowers, so here's a one to one. I mean, that that's great. Like, that's almost macro quality right there. Like, I mean, you can you can get a little bit better quality image with an actual macro lens, but and it wouldn't have you know when you zoom in this much, it wouldn't have that much um, grain to it. But this is amazing on how just zoom in so much on this. And then we'll just go with this last photo. If we zoom in, we can see he's actually sticking out his little tongue. That is so cool. Right here. All right, well, that's pretty much my review. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have this lens and if you like it or not. And I'll see you next time.